13.2d, compound inequalities that are and, going in one direction. With an and, if both graphs go the same direction, then we are going to use the smaller or shorter graph. This is because we must select the portion that is overlapping. We'll see this in example one. In example one, let's start by solving the first inequality by adding six to both sides. This gives us five x is greater than or equal to thirty-two. Dividing both sides by five gives us x is greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths. And then let's solve the second one by subtracting x from both sides, giving us two x plus one is greater than negative nine. Then subtracting one from both sides, giving us two x is greater than negative ten. Dividing both sides by two, we get x is greater than negative five. We can now start drawing our graph where we label all of the numbers And let's start with x is greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths. Since it's greater than or equal to, it's a filled in dot and it goes towards the right because it's going towards positive infinity. Next, we have x is greater than negative five, so that is an open dot also going in the positive direction. And then we can only select the overlap so essentially all we're selecting is the shorter of the two lines, which starts at thirty-two fifths and goes towards positive infinity. Let's write this in interval notation. We start with a bracket because it is a closed dot. We have thirty-two fifths comma positive infinity parenthesis. And this is our answer. Let's look at another example in example two. In example two, we must start by distributing before we begin. This gives us eight x plus eight is greater than six x plus two. We then subtract six x from both sides, giving us two x plus eight is greater than two. Subtract eight from both sides, which gives us two x is greater than negative six. And then we divide both sides by a two, giving us x is greater than negative three. And then we have and and the second equation. We start by subtracting x from both sides and we get seven minus two x is less than or equal to three. We subtract seven from both sides and we get negative two x is less than or equal to negative four. And we divide both sides by negative two. And since we divided by a negative, we need to make sure that we flip the sign. And we get x is greater than or equal to two. Let's graph this. Let's start by placing our numbers on the line. Now, we have x is greater than negative three, which means an open dot at negative three going towards positive infinity. Next, we have x is greater than or equal to two, which means a closed dot at two also going towards positive infinity. The overlapping portion is where the shorter line is or from two to positive infinity. We can now write our interval notation by putting a bracket for the closed dot, two comma infinity parenthesis. This is our answer. Remember, when solving compound inequalities that are ands and they go in one direction, Make sure to pick the overlapping portion, which also happens to be the smaller or shorter graph.